Welcome guys! In this video, I want to teach you one of the most profitable niches on Amazon KDP. This niche is word search puzzles. These types of books are selling thousands per month on Amazon and because of the different sub niches, you may have a good chance to earn money from it. Let's first review the word search books on Amazon. Search for word search keyboard on Amazon. As a side note, if you are looking for ideas for your book, you can use the search suggestion from here. All the results from the search suggestion are the main keyboard that people are looking for and it's a good source for finding new niches. So as you can see, the number of results is a lot, but by creating book in different sub niches of word search, you will increase your sale chance. We will discuss the other sub niches in a little bit. So local ways, I'm looking for the lowest bestseller rank on the first page. This book price is $12.95 and its current bestseller rank is $19.84. This book has 257 pages, which is a little bit high. Now let's open Helium plugin to see how many books this author sold in the last 30 days. As you can see, this author sold more than 2,500 books in the last 30 days. For calculating the profit, I'm using the royalty calculator in the IM Toolbox website. You can find the link to this website down in the description. Okay, enter the page number and book price here. This book profit for each sale is $3.84. This book's profit for last month was more than $9,000. If you are new to my channel, my goal is to teach you how to make money from Amazon KDP. We will go over everything you need to know from zero to sale. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive a notification as soon as I publish new videos of this series. Before we jump on how we can create a word search puzzle book, we need to know what other types of word search puzzle books we can create. If all of us create just one type, the chance of success will decrease drastically. We usually have two main audiences for word search, adults and kids. The main difference between these two audiences are mainly on the cover and word choice. As you can see here, a word search book for adults is more formal and to the point. You don't see that much extra elements in the cover and the interior is as simple as possible. Just a table and hidden words. Also normally has more than 20 hidden words per puzzle. But when it comes to the word search for kids, you need to use suitable elements on your cover and also make sure to mention what is the suitable grade or age for your puzzle since we don't want to have difficult or inappropriate words for the kids. These types of puzzle has normally around 10 to 15 hidden words. As you can see, the interior page for the kids books are more heavy on elements and the number of words is not that much. By adding relevant elements to your page, like this book, you will increase the chance of sale. So first you need to decide your book target audience. A good trick to increase the chance of success for your book is that you need to niche down your puzzle book to instead of being a general puzzle book, be focused on something. For example, Bible word search, music word search. Now that we covered the basics of word search puzzle book, let's see how we can create one of these books. I have a good news for you. Not only you don't need any prior knowledge for creating these kinds of book, you don't need to pay anything for software too. Since I'm going to show you easy and free software that will make the creation of each puzzle very easy. So let's dive in. For creating our puzzle book, we need two main things. First list of words and a puzzle maker. You can find both of them for free in imtoolbox.com. You can find the link to this website down in the description. Now open the website and from the search box in the main page, search for word search and when you find it, open it in a new tab. This tool is so easy to use that you can start creating your puzzle in a matter of minutes. First, you need to set your puzzle size. The size of your puzzle depends on how many of them you are putting in a page, but normally we set it from 10 to 20. Let's set both width and height to 15. Now we need to add words. Just enter your words here and press add words. As you can see, it will add it here. As I mentioned, based on our book, we need between 10 to 30 words per puzzle. So if you have a list of words, you just enter them one by one. But if you don't have and want to create a general book, you can use another amazing tool that these websites offer. Open the website in another tab again and search for random words and open it. 
This tool will suggest to you random words. So basically every time you refresh the page, it will show you a different word. And if you like it, you can use it in your puzzle. The best way to use these tools is opening them side by side like this and just refreshing the random words tab and then entering it here. Now just press add word. We just need to repeat these steps until we have enough words for each puzzle. Let's see how long it will take for me to fill 10 words for this puzzle. As you can see, it just took me a little bit to fill this page. So now that we have our list of words, we need to generate our puzzle. You just need to press the generate button here. If any of your words didn't fit inside the word search, it will show it here. For example, if I try to add a word bigger than the size of the puzzle, it won't fit and you will see it here. Make sure to remove all these missing words from here by just clicking the cross button. Now that we have the puzzle ready, we need to save the puzzle and word list somewhere. I recommend using a simple and free tool like Canva. So just open the Canva in a new tab and set the dimensions to 8.5 by 11 and press create new design. Now in the puzzle page, press the download button. As you can see, it will download the puzzles for you as an image. Direct the image to your Canva page. Now you need to copy the word list. Just press the copy button here and paste it on the Canva page. Most word search puzzle books use a table for this part. But since Canva doesn't have this option, we can simulate the table just by a couple of lines. You just need to draw some lines between your words. That's it. Your first page of puzzle book is ready. As you can see, creating a puzzle book is a lot easier than you think. You can download your puzzle book easily by clicking on the download button here and selecting PDF for print. So let's answer an important question. How many puzzles we need for our book? I would say it depends. If it is a sub niche like movies, music or Bible, you don't need that much. Around 100 puzzles is enough. But if you are creating a general word search puzzle, you need to either have lots of puzzles or price your book cheaper than the competitors to increase your chance of sale. I really recommend testing this tool after this video. The process was very simple and in a matter of minutes you will have your first puzzle ready. Maybe even test it to see how good you are in the word search puzzles. There you have it. I just show you the best and easiest niche in puzzle books. Let me know in the comment section if you had any issues with this tool. My main goal is to help you to create at least a book in each niche so you can increase your chance of earning money without paying anything. Thank you for watching until here. I hope this video was useful for you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.